The month of May is a time when Catholics particularly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so I've been doing so here at Our Lady of the Lake Catholic Church by doing different teachings online of the images in the church, stained glass windows that is, that speak of Mary, either in symbol or in image. And then also concluding the masses on Sunday and weekdays with the Regina Chaley Gregorian chant, which is the antiphon during the season of Easter, particularly for Mary, Queen of Heaven. And it has the line in there, He has risen, just as He said, Alleluia. So as I've reflected upon these images, I notice that there's only one in this church where Mary is seen holding the Christ child, and it's this one here, of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. For quite a number of years now, this has been dear to me. And I think what attracted me is that Mary is looking directly at the viewer. So it gives that, that impression of a relationship uh, that's personal and that Mary is watching out for us as she holds Christ. I'll go into the symbols there in a moment. But this, it was also featured during my 30-day retreat on the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius for a number of reasons. The main reason is because the retreat center is called Our Lady of Perpetual Help Retreat Center. So her image is everywhere on the property in the chapels, in some of the larger rooms, and in every retreatant's room. So I prayed, whenever I would pray to the Blessed Mother, I would look at that image, this very image, a copy of this. And also in the retreat of St. Ignatius's design, he has the retreatant uh, pray and, and converse with Mary and then with Jesus and then with the Father in heaven on the insights gained from that hour of meditation on the scripture. And then conclude with a Hail Mary and then the, the meditation with Jesus, the Anima Christi prayer, and then of course with the Father in heaven, the Our Father. So this, this image has become very dear to me and there are some particular symbols that help us understand who Mary is, but of course, Mary helps us understand who her son is. So let's take a look. In the Eastern world, religious art is seen as an extension of God's presence in creation. Icons are much more than beautiful images. They're meant to help us connect directly with God. The artist who writes the icon strives to illuminate the viewer's soul with divine truth. The 15th century Byzantine icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help was originally from a Greek Orthodox monastery on the Isle of Crete. It has been in Rome since 1499. In 1867, Pope Pius IX placed it into the care of the Redemptorists with the admonition, make her known throughout the world. The Redemptorists, founded by St. Alphonsus Liguori in 1732, placed the image in their church in Rome named for their founder. It's located above the main altar. Mary's eyes, filled with compassion and love, are directed toward us. I have personally found it meaningful to look into her eyes as I pray Marian prayers, like the Hail Mary. Our Lady's hands hold her son securely, and her right hand directs our gaze to him. The Christ child is glancing toward the right side of the icon, where the Archangel Gabriel is holding a cross and four nails coupled with the Archangel Michael on the left holding a lance, a pole with a sponge, and a vessel of vinegar, we see a foreshadowing of the Lord's passion. As a child, startled, he grasps his mother's hand as though he is frightened by what he sees. Such a jolt also causes the holy child to kick off one of his sandals. This is a reminder of his humanity. Yet, our Lady's gaze is fixed on us, her children on earth. She is our consoling mother. She is Our Lady of Perpetual Help. <laughs> 